Hi guys, welcome to Short Notes and today's lecture will be Hydrogeology. Hydrology is a science of water, study, movement of water and distribution of it over the earth's surface and in its atmosphere. Talking about hydrology cycle, here we have a, wa here we have a water source that is ocean or a lake. It goes on due to heat, evaporation and then forms in the condensation process clouds. Clouds then get over the mountains and they precipitate out in form of rain, hail or snow and this rain or hail gives out water again which goes on to the runoff or either percolation to the groundwater table and runoff contributes back to the oceans and lakes and rivers. This is a complete hydrological cycle which forms out to be in hydrological process. This is the study and distribution of water over the earth's surface. Coming up to the next hydrological cycle, this is the theoretical diagram of work we just studied. In this surface water, oceans or rivers get evaporated or transpirated through earth sunlight or plants to the clouds. Clouds then condense and precipitate in form of rain and snow and then get back to the oceans and rivers. For oceans, evaporation is more than precipitation and for land, precipitation is more than evaporation. To prove out these two statements, I have a little theory that is in oceans oceans the amount of water going out is equal to the amount of water going in so the amount of going water is evaporation should be equal to the amount of water coming in is through precipitation and runoff so evaporation is always equal to precipitation and runoff because in oceans the form of water coming inside is either by rain snow or it is through the runoff of rivers or lakes. So evaporation is always greater than precipitation. In land, we have evaporation. Evaporation is always equal to precipitation minus runoff. Because runoff water goes into rivers and which ultimately goes into the oceans. So runoff is not calculated as the inlet water of the land. So evaporation is always less than precipitation. Coming up to the back to the lecture, there is a time which is also known as residence time. The time taken by water particle in crossing one phase of the hydrological cycle to another phase is known as residence time. This residence time can be denoted as TR which is volume upon Q average. So residence time is the time taken by water from liquid phase to gaseous phase, I mean from oceans to clouds. Now coming up to the next very important that is water budget equation. Water budget equation itself shows that mass inflow minus mass outflow is change in storage. Suppose we are having a rain in somewhere, rain in somewhere that is mass inflow minus we are having evaporation, tra transpiration, runoff, anything evaporation, transpiration, runoff that counts on mass outflow. The net subtraction of it will give us the change in storage, delta S, the change in storage of that particular catchment area. So talking about the first hydrological term which is precipitation. Precipitation is a process and a way by which water reaches earth surface. In India average annual rainfall means average annual precipitation is 120 centimeter. Now coming up to the types of the rainfall, first type of rainfall is light rainfall which counts up to be 0, 0.0 to 2.5 mm per hour and second one is medium or moderate rainfall medium or moderate rainfall counts up to be 2.5 to 2. Point, sorry it is 2.5 to 7.5 mm per hour and high rainfall is greater than 7.5 mm per hour classifying rainfall in form of their direction of the winds we have cyclonic rainfall and anti cyclonic rainfall talking about northern hemisphere if the wind direction is anti-clockwise, so we will be having cyclonic rainfall and if wind direction is clockwise, we will be having anti-cyclonic rainfall. In southern hemisphere, clockwise direction of the wind means cyclonic rainfall and anti-clockwise direction of wind means anti-cyclonic rainfall. Now coming up to the other form of precipitation, those are snow, drizzle, glaze, sleet and hail. Hail is a type of rain, rainfall in which small ice droplets ice droplets of size more than 5 mm fall from the sky. Sleet is the frozen raindrops which are less than 5 mm. 